How's it going guys? It's me, Disco Hero, Jonathan Navarro, back here on the streets of New York in Universal Studios, Florida. Now today uh, I'm making my way down the streets of New York City. We're gonna go towards the Jurassic World Tribute Store. Now over the years, uh, Universal has put out various tribute stores. Uh, most recently one we just had for uh, Mardi Gras. Uh, we also, uh, of course, it's best known for its uh, numerous iterations throughout various years of Halloween Horror Nights. But this time around, they've opened it up to commemorate the opening of Jurassic World Velocicoaster over in Islands of Adventure. We'll walk in the Jurassic World I Tribute do. Store, presented by InGen. All right, go to our control room. Of course, this is set up to promote the new Jurassic World Velocicoaster. Wow. There you go, you can see the whole of uh, Isla Nublar on this map. As well as stats regarding the uh, Velociraptor enclosure where the uh, Velocicoaster takes place. Oh yeah, take a look at that. Readouts of the ride itself. Down over here we got a, looks like a Raptor tracker. Press for the Raptor. Ah, it's actually a U-Design uh, kiosk where you can make your own uh, phone cases and whatnot. That's pretty cool. Ah, okay, I see. We got the little different designs up here. We got them over here as well. Yeah, we got a whole lot of uh, Jurassic World, Jurassic Park merchandise over here. We got t-shirts, <laughs> uh, keeper distance bag with the uh, T-Rex over there. Oh, we've got some scented candles, uh, churro, uh, churro stand, uh, primeval jungle, we got the pack hunt, uh, stegosaurus scream, stegosaurus stream, uh, the Sorna redwoods, let's take a look at that right here, and then the east dock. Down over here, you got like Oh, it's like a little dinosaur hat. Oh, it's a little backpack. That was a hat. It's got little straps on the back there. Got some t-shirts for the dinosaurs. Now, there was a thing regarding in the second Fallen Kingdom. They wanted to uh, get the dinosaurs out of uh, Island of Bar Fort uh, uh, before it got uh, decimated by the volcano. Oh, here we got some, looks like dino jewelry. Got a little charm bracelets and bands. The requisite hoodie. Jersey style tea. Mugs. Oh, there's some nice maquettes over here. We got the Indoraptor up on top. No, I'm sorry, the Irex up on top. Uh, T Rex over here. And then a Velociraptor uh, skeleton. Partial though, it's missing the tail. Although maybe the tail just doesn't fit in the display case. Oh cool, we got a collectible tumbler with the uh, Velocicoaster on that. What could go wrong? Of course, we got some hats. Velocicoaster t-shirt. Oh, some more Velocicoaster. We got this merch with this particular uh, design on the front. More mugs, toothpick holders, uh, lanyards and socks. Of course, we've got some masks over here with nice prints of Jurassic World. We've got like a Velociraptor uh, face snoot. Uh, the Jurassic Park logo and the Velocicoaster logo. Oh my, you can't have one of these tribute stores without a Moldorama. In this case, this is a T-Rex uh, Moldorama. Make a cool little purple T-Rex figurine out of wax. 
All right, so I forgot to press record. I did end up making one. And look how that is putting a light. You can see over here, got that T-Rex figure. Now on the side, it does say, let me see if we get that in focus. Universal Studios, no, it says, uh, yeah, Universal Studios, right here on the edge. Uh, all right, going to the next room. Oh, boy. We got a nice, huge statue of, I'm assuming it's blue, the raptor. <laughs> uh, then we got some more raptors over here on top of this crate. Menacing, look at that. Them teeth. Pretty cool. They got this tropical looking print of Jurassic World. They got the T Rex on the front with um, some nice flowers around it. <laughs> they also got that same logo on a hat and a little tote bag down here. Oh, that's pretty cool. They got like minor hats with the uh, Jurassic Park logo. It's got a little light on the top. That's pretty cool. All right, so off. To the visitor center. Oh, got a nice print of a raptor. We gotta be careful with this fence over here. You got 10,000 volts coming right at you. All right, this leads to the control room. Over here, got the old T Rex and the classic photo, a classic depiction of the Jurassic Park gates. Oh, geez. A Dilophosaurus over here. All right, make our way to the laboratory. Oh my. So yeah, this looks like a one of the dilapidated uh, labs in Jurassic Park. Ooh. So that's a screen used fedora worn by Alan, worn by Alan Grant. No, it's worn by Sam Neill. Who portrayed Alan Grant? Got little brochures. That's pretty cool. A Barbasol cryo can. Got some more memorabilia over here. This is uh, looks like documentation for uh, Vince Vaughn's character. Uh, oh, and this is the wrong thing over here. Looks like. John Hammond's King. That's a portrayed by uh, Richard Attenborough. Mm -hmm. I should go back down here. Looks like a rifle of some sorts. Oh, maybe a stun baton. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this looks like a Definitely like overgrown lab taken by uh, taken back by nature after the incident in '93. Oh, got some cool Christmas ornaments. Dinosaur related guy looks like a dino eye hat coming out of the uh, like a hatching uh, egg. Some fossils over here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, let's see. Like the incubation slash hatching chamber. See the little robot arm that they use to turn the eggs over. Ah, apparently these are screen used for Raptor eggs. For Jurassic Park 3. Okay, we have, looks like a recreation of a uh, cold storage uh, facility where they hold the embryos. We well, got a package of what? Ancient igneous rocks. Uh, Jurassic Park hat. Yeah, and here is a cryo storage unit that uh, Nedry uh, stole those embryos and hid them in a Barbasol can that we just saw earlier. Fortunately, never really made it out with those. Oh, here we go. We got the other. Moldorama this time. What is this? Uh, 
Brontosaurus. Oh, I was hoping it was going to be a Mr. DNA. But that's pretty cool. Oh, going to the Gentle Giants. Oh, this is a uh, nice tribute to the old Triceratops uh, encounter. Back when, uh, where, well, not back, back in the day when Islands of Adventure opened up. It's currently now the Velocicoaster. That's pretty cool. You can actually feed the uh, Triceratops. I don't know if this actually turns. Nope. Not that I put coins, like it literally is just welded shut. Uh, it looks kind of sad in this uh, enclosure over here. Remember, dino food only, no human food, so none of that popcorn, hot dogs, or anything like that. Just these dino pellets. Oh, this is cool. Fossilized amber. Oops. Looks like he's some sort of like jelly treat with some sort of insect in the inside. How's it going? <laughs> oh, we got the egg nursery over here. Oh, it's a chocolate egg. And it's got all these things on the inside over here. You can see. Let me crack that open. Let's get to the treats. Oh, here are classic attraction posters. This one's from Jurassic World. You got the gyrosphere. And of course, the newly opened Velocicoaster. T-Rex Kingdom. Now, T-Rex Kingdom is actually at uh, Universal Studios Hollywood in their uh, Jurassic World attraction. So there you go, the classic river adventure that we have at IOA. With a hadrosaur, because uh, you're supposed to be, you know, flowing down the river at the time, about to meet these gentle giants. The infamous Tyrannodon Flyers, kids only, in Camp Jurassic. The Mosasaurus. Now this is something I wish they actually made an attraction here at Universal Studios. I mean, how would they simulate a large behemoth like this? Animatronics? Projections? Who knows? Oh, and here we go. Got this lovely gentleman over here, statue of John Hammond, and which was screen used, I'm assuming in Jurassic World. Yep, Jurassic World. All right, so that'll do it, guys, uh, for uh, today. Uh, thank you for uh, joining me on this little uh, shopping trip through the uh, Jurassic World Tribute Store. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you uh, click that like uh, down below. Uh, make sure you subscribe and then also uh, press the notification button down below. That way you know uh, next time I'm on another venture. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.